Hello, welcome to another of my new video. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorites and one of the very interesting oscillators I've ever seen in my life. A base fed oscillator. Here you can see a resonator coil connected with a capacitor in series. Usually the capacitor and coil is connected in parallel. But this case, they are in series. They yeah, same, same circuit arrangement to the transistor oscillator. And what's more interesting about the circuit is that even though the capacitor is connected to the gate of the MOSFET, it produces a lot of power. This oscillator is very very fascinating i've seen from quite a lot of russian channels they post about the same oscillator they don't tell you any construction details until recently on some hf sstc circuits they're showing you something similar this is the main reson the resonance part connected with the tesla coil for the resonance but however The circuits produce a lot of power, also high voltage, to the gate make it even more fascinating as the gate doesn't get blown up, simple as that. With a filter coil which I would like to call it about. This coil technically can be in at any value, but sometimes certain value works better for a certain application for this coil circuit. You can replace the MOSFET with a vacuum tube for even higher power. As you can see, that Russian channel doesn't like to post much details of, constru of construction this oscillator. To this point, they can connect a, uh, a tester coil and they will produce a very very high frequency arc, which looks like a normal flame, which I wouldn't go into any detail, but this part is high voltage. Here I've connected up to a power supply. Here we have a mecha capacitor, a mica if you want to pronounce it. And um, the thing is that the capacitor will be usually around 100 pico to 500 pico farad, depending on the resonator for the best working condition. But you need to make sure it's a high voltage one. Also, because it's better to have a air variable resist uh, variable capacitor or condenser so for the power dissipations i'm gonna stuck the capacitor to a fan so make sure it stay cool for the whole way and now i hook up to a lab bench power supply now start applying voltage Here we can see it start working now. Great. Here I've got myself a RF detecting pen, which I will make a, a video in the future with two germanium diode. <clears throat> and you can see it, it glows brightly. The reason to use germanium diode is for high switching applications and the low trigger voltage and being amplified by a transistor. Here I have a loop of wire connected to a little light bulb if I'm just focusing it up. It's a 6.2 volt bulb and the current is about, it's a bit blurred on the video, 0 0.3 amps. But let's see when we put it to the circuit itself. See, just take close. As you can see, I've, um, I've been putting another choke to the feed line to prevent any RF from getting out to the socket and cause interference. It glows brightly just by placing it here to the connections of the capacitor as it can pick up enough 
electric field or a magnetic field in this case. If we just insert it into the coil of the resonator, it glows even brighter. To increase the potency, I'm just gonna stop the power supply, we'll be making the loop even more significant. Here we go. And here we can see it glows incredibly bright. And another fun thing about the high voltage feed point is that if we bring ourselves a little light bulb, it's a 6 volt, 0 0.06 amp, so therefore it can be light up pretty easily. Oh, I think I should change an even higher power one. Here we have a 6 volt, 0 0.1 amp, just to make sure it's, uh, I don't burn the filaments up. Holding to the bulb by the base, we increase the power. See, increase the voltage a little bit more, perfect, see, that's all the energy is being connected to the filament, has been resonated, and it does not shock you because of the skin effect, and anyway, it's also really low voltage in this point, but if we bring ourselves a gas discharge lamp, and increase the voltage even further here we can see the bulb start light up and this in ultraviolet and we can put in the bulb into the coil and look incredibly bright on the camera but in real life it's pretty dim just to spoil it for you and the voltage here right now is at 50 10.8 volts and if we just touch one of the terminals here we can still light up the bulb here it glows the brightest and anyway thanks for watching I will post the circuit diagram in the description of the video unlike those Russian channels Thanks for watching, goodbye.